welcome to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. I have a lot to go over today. Um, this is week four of Sparkle Addiction. I also have an unboxing from Francesca Studio Works, who is one of our amazing sponsors. I have a giveaway from Lathan Mysteries for a pin for next week. And then for last week, I have a giveaway from another sponsor, and that is Bella Art Diamonds. So first, let's go ahead and unbox this cute snowman and child. Francesca is a new company, Francesca Studio Works. Currently, they only ship to the US, and I went ahead and got this because I like to support small shops, and I also have heard quite a bit about Francesca's and I wanted to look at it for myself. So let's first of all, look at the box and they already have branding. Francesca Studio Works here. It says premium diamond painting kit. It is a nice dark purple box. Came very well packaged in an outer box. Then it shows you what's in the box, snowman and child. And this is from Makio. And it says artlicensing.com. And it is a 45 by 61.9 centimeters or a 17.7 inch by 24.4 inch. It says it is a round diamond and it says all contents and instructions included. I like when companies put a thumbnail at the end of their box. That way when I put it on my shelf, I will know what it is. Then it tells you Quite a bit of information on the back. It says, thank you for choosing Francesca Studio Works. Visit our website. Also has a QR code here. And then it says, I hope you love our products as much as we love curating them for you, Francesca. And then the side says, artistry, craftsmanship, and beauty. So let's get into this. Maybe... I need the scissors. I didn't realize that it was taped on the end. I have no idea how this is boxed or what comes with it. I wanted to look for myself, so I, has, I have not been looking at any of the unboxings. I know that Mindy's Diamond Moment has unboxed quite a few from this company. I haven't looked because I wanted to see for myself. It comes in this really nice plastic bag here. Dust cover that will help keep your diamond painting protected. Move that out of the way. I wanted something that I could work on that would be in a theme for January. I will not be able to get to this, I don't think, in December. December is already pretty heavily lined up with what I want to work on. I might be able to get to it. I would love to, but we'll see if that's going to happen. But I thought, you know, this is, it's not just Christmas or holiday. It could be January because it's really cold in January. Although we don't get much snow here in Georgia, if any, but I thought this would be really cute. I'm going to try to bring this out a little so you can see it. I love the colors on this. It has, let's see, 39 colors. And if we look at the top, we have Francesca Studio Works here. And then we have on the left side, we have our schematic that is facing the opposite direction. So when you flip it over, if you need to look at the symbols, then you can. Also has the same thing on the bottom right. More information regarding Francesca down here at the bottom. And then gives the information regarding the canvas. And if we look over here, I'm just going to flip it sideways. It says all the information here, QR codes. It tells you where to find Francesca's. But I thought this was really, really cute. 
There is going to be some color blocking, especially in the snowman. Um, not all of it's gonna be color blocking, but a lot of it is, as you can see, all of that white there. I don't know if there's any ABs in here. There's actually, there's five ABs. And I'm looking at, let's look here. We do have a sticker sheet. I will cut this out, put that in my logbook. And then the stickers are individually cut, so you don't have to cut through any of those. It gives you the number of the symbol, and it does give you the DMC. I'm not sure why. And they also give you, I was trying to figure out what this is. There, there's 39 colors, as I mentioned, but then on here, if you want some extra stickers, they're numbered 40 through 121. So that confused me for just a minute, but there's nothing there. So if you wanted to use those for something else, if you like to put these in containers and then you want to label your other containers, you have plenty of stickers to do so. I don't know if these stickers are easily removable, so I will put some washi whenever I go and put these in the containers. I just had to kit up. We have diamond painting instructions here. Gives you a nice booklet here, which I don't need. But some of you, if you are new to diamond painting, you might. I really like this bag that our toolkit comes in. And purple is my favorite color, so this works out great for me. Let's see what all is in here. This is a round kit, as I've mentioned. And I'm surprised we also get really nice pokey tweezers and they're purple, so I will definitely be keeping this one in my stash. And then we have your standard toolkit here. If I can get this out, we have your standard small boat. We have, I don't see any wax in here. Am I overlooking the wax? Here it is. I was going to say, I know there's got to be wax somewhere. We have actually clear wax. And we have three little plates of wax or rounds. Make sure you do take the plastic off if you do use these. We have some baggies here if you need to store your extra drills in. We actually have some washi. That's really pretty and it's purple. I don't know if this is like their standard washi or it just happens that it's purple, but I really like how it looks, this gold foil on the side there. We have a squishy. We have another tray, and this one's a, a divider tray, so you can work on two different colors. And it has two little gates here, closures, where you can have your drills going out either way. I like that. That's very unusual to receive two trays on one kit, especially a kit this small. And then we have, this is interesting. Okay, we have a pin with a single placer here. There's also a placer here that is curved. This is really good too, to use this in for your ABs. And then we have a multi-placer. So that's a really nice toolkit. So a little extra than what you normally will see. Then let's look at the drills. I'm gonna open these just because I wanna see how they're packaged. And I didn't mention the, the canvas doesn't feel like soft lint, but it is really nice and durable. Let's also look at the sticky. That sounds good and sticky. It doesn't really go over to the ends. It just kind of stops where the drill field stops, which is really nice. It is scalloped and sewn on the edges. That helps to prevent fraying. And 
The canvas looks really good and clear. I'm not, I don't have a light pad on and I can see all of the symbols with no problem. I do want to take a look at the symbols to make sure that there's not anything that really is glaring to me. One through five is symbol one through five, which is really nice. I don't see, let's see if there's any letters. These are all symbols. I do not see any letters in here. And most of the symbols are ones that I am definitely familiar with. There is one that looks like Saturn that I haven't seen. That's interesting. Um, but everything else looks to be the same. And I have no idea, but this is just me speaking. I think... Well, no, okay, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if these drills are from Evermoment, but the way that they are in here, I don't think that they are because Evermoment doesn't usually pack like this, but the drills look really good. There's some of the ABs, one, three, five are ABs. Very, very pretty. I'm loving all the colors. Normally, I don't go through and look at the drills. I don't take them out because I am challenged when it comes on getting these back in here. I don't know why, but I am. We have three bags of 340. That's a dark blue. That's going to be in the background. And then we have two bags of 341. So there is a lot of blue in here, which I am happy about. And then we only have one small bag of three tens. And then we have two bags of white, but the bags are not very large. You do have to cut these bags and I'm fine with that because I kid up anyway. I do not work out of baggies. I'm trying that now with one of my other kits that I'm working on. And it was a small kit, didn't have any colors. So I thought, well, it'll be okay. And no, it's not. I'm having a terrible time with working out of baggies. So I won't do that again. But I am looking to see, there's an AB in the hat here. A lot of those are fives. And there's a lot of ABs in the hat up the top here with the little star. Um, there's an AB that's going to be in his little cheek. Um, let's see. There's some ABs that's in the scarf down here. So they're just sprinkled throughout. I probably will not add any more ABs to this. You know, I might. For instance, I could add some up in the sky there. I could add some in the snow, although there is some ABs here that are sprinkled. All that's around the outer edge of the snowflake has ABs. So that's really pretty. But if you have not checked out Francesca Studio Works, I will have the link listed below. And Francesca has quite a few kits that I am interested in, but I really wanted something that was going to be wintery, and I don't really have that many winter kits, so I thought this would be something that will be easy and that I can get done fairly quickly, especially with all the color blocking in here, but I do see some confetti, so it's not all color blocking. It's a mixture, but it's more color blocking on this one than it is confetti, so it should work up fairly quickly. But I really do like this. I think it is just so cute. I'm going to start at the bottom here because I cannot get all this in frame. But I wanted to just show you this. And if I put it sideways, you might can see it a little bit better. Maybe pan out a little bit here. And you can see the face. You can see that a little bit better. But I think this is going to be really cute. And it's going to be a lot of fun, especially in January when it's going to be too cold and I can't really do very much, but this would be perfect for January. 
So that is from Francesca. And again, check out Francesca if you have not done so. And all of our other sponsors will be listed as well. We are so appreciative of all the sponsors that um, we do have. And we have so many that we're able to give away gifts or um, prizes for each week. So last week's was for the $20 gift card for Bella Art Diamonds. And so let's go ahead and I want to set up the random wheel picker and then we will see who has won that one. And I'll be right back. Hey you guys, it is now time for our random draw. And this was for the $20 gift card to Bella Art Diamonds. So what I did is I put in the video from last week and I use the filter word, which was happy. And so now I'm going to continue. There are 17 comments. So our winner from last week was Stephanie Singletary. And Stephanie says, I'm very happy that next week is Thanksgiving and I get some time off with my family. So thanks everyone um, that participated. And if you did not win or you haven't won yet, no worries. We still have plenty of time. There's weekly draws. And so Stephanie, if you would please contact me, then we can get together and I will let you know how to claim your gift card. Thanks everybody. And Back to our video. Congratulations to the winner. Please contact me so that I can tell you the next steps in order for you to obtain that $20 gift card from Bella Art Diamonds. For next week, we have one of the pins that I um, showed you last week, and this is from Lathan Mysteries. This is a really pretty pin. You can see the glitter inside. This does not do it justice on camera. It is a very lightweight pen. And for next week, the code to win this Lathan Mystery Pen is going to be snow. Since the kit that I showed you had quite a bit of snow, it was a, a, a snowman, let's go with the word snow, S-N-O-W, and that should be in lower case and I will draw next Wednesday to see who wins this lovely pin. Make sure that you also check out Angie's Crafting with Diamonds because she also has a winner from last week and she will have that keyword for next week. Hope you have a great rest of your day and until next time, happy diamond painting, bye.